Given his phenomenal career, Kobe Bryant received numerous tributes in a variety of forms ranging from murals to tattoos to people naming their kids in honor of him. Vikings go play action and an incredible oh, hit oh, oh. from Kobe Bryant. Some homages have even taken the form of detailed sculptures. These typically feature the Hall of Famer either just standing upright or in the motion of performing one of his classic plays. But then there's the piece entitled Achilles. In August 2014, the very distinct sculpture was put on display in Taipei, Taiwan as part of the Conscious 3 Basketball Art Exhibition. Although it wasn't the first time the piece had been displayed publicly, it was the moment that it went viral after catching people's attention due to the unusual design which depicts Kobe struggling against the snake that has wrapped itself around him and dug its fangs into his left Achilles tendon, referencing the injury that the Hall of Famer received in April 2013 and led to him missing the vast majority of the 13-14 season. The sculpture stands at around 27 inches high and is made of fiberglass reinforced plastics. The work was designed by Roger Huang, a Taiwan-based artist. Huang's motivation behind the piece was Greek mythology and its correlations with the basketball world. Huang reasoned that if Michael Jordan is considered the almighty Zeus of basketball, then Kobe would be Achilles, the semi-god who was slightly flawed and, consequently, fell just short of achieving the same level of greatness as Zeus. Kobe Bryant. I have been expecting you, and I have failed in my quest to win as many rings as you." The snake represents Kobe's true spirit, while his body is the imperfect vessel that now traps his aging self. The reason for him being naked is to emphasize the inherent strength and beauty of the human form juxtaposed with its fragility. So Kobe Bryant cannot continue. Shortly after his Kobe statue went viral, Huang again made headlines when another of his works caught people's attention in September 2014. The sculpture in question was entitled Every Day I See My Dream and was a tribute to Jeremy Lin and the Lin Sanity phenomenon that erupted around him during the 11-12 season when he led the Knicks to seven straight wins. Lin, Lin does it again. <laughs> the sculpture captures a specific real-life moment from February 2012 during a game against the Nets. Playing against all-star Jerron Williams, Lin scored 25 points, grabbed five rebounds, and dished out seven assists, leading to a 99-92 victory for the Knicks. At one point in the game, Lin drew a foul after a layup and celebrated emphatically. Slicing, dicing right there, swooping, hooping, and the crowd on their feet. The image soon went viral, and for Huang, Lin's gesture captured a powerful moment as he felt that it was Lin declaring to the world that he should never be underestimated and that such a moment should be celebrated and preserved in the form of a sculpture. Huang gave the piece a mirrored finish because, for many people, when they looked at Lin during the height of Lin's sanity, they saw an underdog who proved everyone wrong, something most people, regardless of their respective backgrounds and obstacles, also aspire to do someday. So, when someone looks at the Everyday I See My Dream sculpture and see themselves reflected, it should remind them that, regardless of how big they dreamed, those desires, like Lin's, could also someday come true, as Lin's personal success should remind and inspire everyone, because people should always remember that, although life is full of setbacks, a person should grasp every opportunity as they pursue their dreams. Since producing the Kobe and Lin sculptures, Huang has made numerous other pieces of art relating to basketball. Most take the form of elaborate illustrations celebrating a variety of players. But Huang still hopes to produce even more sculptures in relation to the basketball world. He's previously stated that he'd like to create something in honor of Allen Iverson, as well as something in reference to Michael Jordan and his ostensible ability to fly. This there goes the tongue flying, and there goes the man himself flying. Lambeer has no chance. Look at boom! Huang also wants to someday create something in honor of Blake Griffin and his various iconic poster dunks, specifically those on Pau Gasol, Kendrick Perkins, and Chris Humphreys. Gets it back. Huang sees Griffin's plays during his prime as a godlike force of nature, which means, like the Kobe sculpture, there's a chance that, if the project ever indeed comes to fruition, Griffin may also be naked. Oh, there you are. Come here, you basketball. Oh! It's like a walrus flossing. <laughs>